guys once again i'm back to an interesting topic and this time this video is purely dedicated to my brother because ashwin bro achu bro had said me to do a topic about this at first i was like thinking logically because i just believe logical things because things which i witness i just believe i don't believe all the spiritual thing etc but when i know about this particular person this particular person is so valuable towards many people in india and that's why i just thought to do this particular topic because this is really needed to be discussed because people must know about this particular person because logical and spiritual when it is together it brings a result it's like me and achu bro we just think in that way i just think in this way and we just come in one way so this epic topic is all about ramana maharshi the real 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 saint you know you would be seeing satya sai baba or ramdev all these people but this particular person is real and you know the the things he followed the things he preached teach and he just wrote books about lot of questions which we present generation are searching he just gave it in a way where you know it's it is unimaginable again because he was following a pattern of spiritual devoting towards god giving everything to god with a positive note by doing all this meditation etc in a cave and you know you know at the age of 16 and you know his name was not first ramana maharshi it was venkat raman ayer he was from madurai district in in tamil nadu he was from a ayer family which is called a brahmin family you know it was like at the age of 16 he just realized that death is not something which is ending you know it's just a devotion to god with a lot of things called a force it's like an a feel where not every person get all these type of feeling etc only a person who just devotes towards the positivity which is called as god can reach the point which this person is telling you know this particular ramana maharshi has called this name because of the name called ram and the character because everyone loves ram and because of the character right because of the preachers and lot of other things etc i don't go deeply with spiritual etc but i just tell it in a logical way so what and why he is so famous you know he was born on 1879 and his birth was like a god towards the surroundings of the society you know after knowing the value of this particular person and his preach because he explained who are you the question the real question you know we people can't answer all these stuff the toughest question who who we really are we are not a person with a name there is something logical thing every human has a reason to be in this world and he just answered every question he wrote lot of books he had taken many things from sanskrit and he had translated to tamil and lot of other things which many people are loving it a lot many international people are are coming towards him to get all these preachers etc you know he didn't wear a proper dress you know it was it was like a normal dress which a normal people can't bear the cold you know he can survive everything because of that positive energy you know i'll be displaying all these pictures because you need to know about this particular person in minus 10 degree in any degree of cold he was surviving just like that during those period it was like only 55 or 60 the, the maximum age capacity would be that but he was living for a period of 70 to 73 years just like that you know because of this positivity energy and you know he was following a pattern which no normal human can follow but he teased he teased and he just made many people to think about all these things etc you know self realization is one of the beautiful weapon we people must have so he is one of the person who just brought that out in a way by going towards tiruvannamalai and he just started devoting himself with a meditation in arunachala it is called as a devotee to shiva arunachala is something which is so so devoted to lord shiv because we have in hindus we follow one side in vishnu another side is shiva okay so this particular person just worship shiva a lot he followed lot of things which shiva followed so he was he was just into it and you know he he found out many questions just like that you know in a spiritual way and he just gave answers in every possible manner he was living in a way where which no one can imagine with less food without water you know with the help of this particular body power even if you close your eyes and if someone is beating you can't make him to wake up 
he has got such a power and that's why he was so famous in the world but people didn't know about him because people are not ready to accept all these things etc because certain things are really true but people don't realize it unless until and you just feel it personally okay so he was in last day on 1950 you know he just got cancer you know not alone him even buddha done the same thing he just went by dropping all his personal things and just went for all this meditation and just died you know all these type of persons you know who had this god power died in such kind of pain but even in pain he just said a beautiful word and he just end his life and that that thing made him so famous and you know i would mention all these things in a caption because i don't know how to express it out because there are person in world that experience godly feel in this earth you know unimaginable right not every person can think about or feel or be like that you know only if you have that positivity you know i just tell it as a positivity many person tells that it is godliness etc you know every person has its own view right so i'm just telling it as a positivity so ramana maharshi is something which is big enough which is unimaginable there is lot of things to be expressed but i just thought to discuss it in a way where in a general so that people must understand there was a person from india a, a best a person to follow positivity in a large way so that you can know why your life and what is your life and who are you in life okay these things have been answered by him and you know once you know about him you would start knowing lot of things etc the answers you need to get from others you can get it from him he had written it in lot of proof in books etc you can just googling it out so you can find the real answers etc i hope i have justified this topic by telling the mag- maximum thing which this world didn't know many people would be knowing about all these things etc but will not go deep into it but if you go deep you would get lot of answers which even our teachers can't explain it out okay so i hope i have justified this topic brother so thank you achu bro for telling me to do a topic about ramana maharshi i hope i had given my best i hope i would do such kind of topic if i feel it live you know in future i would do different type of topics which is related to humanity to improve humanity i know people don't believe all these stuffs at least few people must think about all these things only then humanity can be formed okay so have a thought on it if you feel to give a like please to give a like to this topic i mean this is something which is unimaginable because i never thought to do a topic related to all these things etc but once again i thank you bro for giving me a chance to tell about all these things etc you know it's just one day just prepared for this you know i had a little tough situation in my life so i it was a little delay if i had if i hadn't had that situation i would doing it it didn't stretch because you are my favorite bro so with this thing i'm ending this video so take care have a nice day